As an Etsy seller, it's so important to do your product research and trend research. This can make or break your Etsy business because you need to know what the buyers are looking for, what the buyers are interested in, so that you can design designs that suit them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design a popular design on Etsy. I'm going to take you through how I do that my product research within Etsy itself to find trending designs uh, that buyers are actually buying. So I'll show you how I do that and I'll even show you how you do your product research within a tool like eRank so you can see the evidence of why that design is actually selling. Then we're going to go into Canva and I'll show you how to make that design We'll go through how we do our trademark research so we're not making or using any quotations or words that are trademarked. And then we're going to go into Photopeer just for a bit. Photopeer is just like Photoshop. We're going to use that to give our design the warp feature that's quite trendy on Etsy at the moment. And then we're going to go back into uh, Canva to finalize our design using our various tools that we can get in Creative Fabrica or from right there in Canva. And then after that, we'll make a mock-up and have our design ready to list on Etsy or on Amazon or on Shopify, which, wherever you sell, we'll go through that process. So come with me and I'll show you. So if you go on Etsy, you'll find that the In My Era shirts are really popular. So these are the shirts I'm talking about. And when you look, you can see this um, having the, the left chest aligned design on the front and a big bold design on the back is a really popular style on Etsy as well. So you can see there's quite a lot of them and quite a few different colors that are used in my auntie era, in my engaged era, in my dog mom era. There's just so many designs that look like that. Uh, one way to have a look at your best sellers is if you go here to all filters, click on star seller, then go apply. Then once you're in the next view, change star to best. That will then show you all your best sellers. So within here, you can skip these ones with ads because that means people are paying for that to be on top. So if you wanted to have a good view of what's really uh, a top seller, you could then see starting to look here, some of these designs. So I, I found, I took this, this seller here, Imerica, Imericia, and you can see her sweatshirt here in my engaged era. And now what we'll do is we just want to research that design a little bit more. So when we go to her shop, you can see that that sweatshirt is really in demand. She's got a sale going. Uh, six people have actually bought the sweatshirt in the last 24 hours and it has a whole lot of good reviews. So that's really a really popular design. And what we'll do now is we'll just look at this a little bit more. If we go to our popular product search tool, E-Rank, you can view within E-Rank, you can have a look or analyze a, a shop so you can see within there if we analyze that shop we can see that top selling sweatshirt we can see how many times it has sold so you can see the estimated sales and the estimated revenue i think that's this design was created in may of this year um, and it's already got over fifty-seven thousand views over 3,000 favorites. So it's a really, it's a top seller. So we're here in Canva and we've got our text box and our design here. We will start to create our design. Um, so you just need to look for a font that would suit this design. One I've seen used quite a bit is this nectarine nectarine font so that should do it so we want to have a design that reads in my in my holy jolly teacher era so what we need to 
do first is we need to see if that uh, phrase is trademarked or not. So you would come here to TM Search, which is the trademark electronic search system, which by basic word search. There's no trademark electronic search system records found for that um, search. So okay, so that's a good start. That's our design. So what we want to do now is we want to, like you could see those designs in Etsy, the different uh, color palette so a, a website i like to use for that is this one called colors or coolers i don't know how to pronounce it but this website here coolers it has different color palettes that you can use so you could um, explore some trending palettes and if you had no idea where to start, I guess you just, what I do, just search Christmas because we're doing a Christmas design and it will show you the different uh, color palettes that you could use. I like this one. So what you do is if you click on it, you get this, um, the hex code and it's copied to your clipboard. Then when you come in here, if you highlight a letter come here to color and within this you can paste that hex code and it will show you and that's how you do it so now we'll just um, go through the rest of our design using that color palette that we've got from coolers Okay, so now we've we've colored in our design and what we're going to do now is we are going to download this design, download it, PNG with the transparent background and we are going to bring this design into Photopea which is a free online tool, kind of like Photoshop. Um, so we're going to go in there and that's where we we're going to use the warp feature to just get that wavy effect on this design. And once it's downloaded, we'll come here to Photopea and we'll go to a new project. So we'll open that PNG. And there you go, we have it in here. Now if we go edit, transform, warp, go style, or wave. And then you can adjust the, the, the design to suit, but I'm not going to do that here. So we've got our wave design. And so you could adjust it as you want, but once, once you've got it looking like that, that's all good. We confirm that's the design we want and now we download this again and go back to Canva. And within Canva we will upload that PNG we just got from Photopea. Now we'll just finish it off and get it ready for our design. So I was saying what I like to use are these retro elements. Where they go retro Christmas elements you'll find some different elements you could add to your design. These like sparkles are really popular. I've seen them on a few designs on Etsy. You can just maybe have a few sparkles in there.
I'll show you now how you can add those designs to your sweatshirt. 